Welcome to the introduction to ISO 45001-2018 Part 2. In this video we are going to look at how to implement a process for hazard identification, risk assessment and control to effectively manage workplace and safety hazards within the organization by involving the participation of workers and, as applicable, their representatives. According to Clause 6.1.2, Hazard Identification. Now we are going to observe a typical working day at Automotive Incorporated Warehouse. All activity seems to be running smoothly until the forklift driver stopped too quickly, causing the unsecured load to capsize on the ground and spilling the toxic chemicals. Fortunately the on-site construction worker moved out of the way just in time and avoided being injured. Now the manager realized that he needs to implement controls to prevent similar incidents from happening again. In this episode of ISO 45001 we are going to review how to identify hazards and prevent or minimize the incidents. The process for hazard identification should determine proactively all sources, situations, and the acts arising from an organization's activities, with a potential for harm in terms of injury or ill health. Now we will look at the types of hazards in the workplace. Hazard identification should consider the different types of hazards in the workplace, including Physical Example, Slips trips and falls, entanglement, noise, vibration, harmful energy sources, chemical, example, inhalation contact with or ingestion of chemicals, biological, example, contact with allergens or pathogens such as bacteria or viruses, psychological, example, threat of physical violence, bullying or intimidation, we will now review the following related ISO 45001 clauses. Clause 6.1.2 Hazard Identification Assessment of Risk and Opportunities. Clause 8.1.2 Hierarchy of Controls. Clause 8.2 Emergency Preparedness and Response. Clause 6.1.2 Hazard Identification and Assessment of Risk and Opportunities Whether you are a startup company or an established business, there are some simple steps you can take to implement a safety system. Hazard Identification should proactively identify any sources or situations arising from an organization's activities with potential for work-related injury and ill health. Sources and situations could include how work is organized includes social factors, leadership and culture. The routine and non-routine activities and situations, including infrastructure, equipment, materials, substances and physical conditions in the workplace. Hazards created in the vicinity of the workplace by work-related activities. Changes or proposed changes in the organization or its activities. Modifications to the OHS management system, including temporary changes and their impact on operations, processes, and activities. Changes in knowledge and information about hazards. Emergency situations including considerations of those who access the workplace, including workers, contractors, visitors and other persons. It's also important to have a process to evaluate how past incidents or accidents are examined to see what happened and whether the incident or accident could occur again. Clause 6.1.2.2 Assessment of OHS and other risks to the OHS management system. Risk assessment involves considering the possible results of someone being exposed to a hazard and the likelihood of this occurring. Evaluate the impact of the risk and opportunity on the organization's OHS management system. Determine actions to eliminate and or prevent or minimize the risks. Establish objectives to monitor the impact of the risks. 
Clause 6.1.2.3 Assessment of OHNS Opportunities and Other Opportunities for the OHNS Management System. The process to assess OHNS opportunities to enhance OHNS performance. Improving OHNS performance shall include consideration of hazards and risks, modification of working processes, introduction of new technology. Introduction of job safety analysis. Improvement of the occupational health and safety culture. Improving the OHNS system shall include enhancing the top management's visibility, improving worker decision making, enhancing the incident investigation process, improving two way communication and adopting a risk assessment approach. Clause 8.1.2 Eliminating hazards and reducing OHNS risks. The organization shall establish a process for achieving reduction in OHNS risks using the following hierarchy. Eliminating the hazard can be achieved through removing the hazard or selecting alternate products or equipment to eliminate the risk. Substitute the hazard by substituting the substance, method or material to reduce the risk or the hazard. Use engineering controls to modify existing machinery or purchase different machinery or to provide a physical solution. Implement administrative procedures by developing work methods or procedures to reduce the conditions of risk and training the staff. Use personal protective equipment and training in its use. The organization shall ensure that the OHNS risks and determined controls are taken into account when establishing, implementing and maintaining its OHNS management system. Clause 8.2 Emergency Preparedness and Response The organization shall assess OHNS risks associated with emergency situations and establish, implement and maintain a process to anticipate, prevent or minimize OHNS risks from potential emergencies. By identification and planning including provision for FIST aid. Preparation of a plan response. Periodic testing and exercise of emergency response capability. Communicating and providing relevant information to all workers on their duties and responsibilities, and communicating relevant information to contractors, visitors, emergency services, government authorities and the local community. The company shall maintain and retain document information of the plans for responding to potential emergency situations. Thank you for watching the introduction of ISO 45001 2018 Part 2. In Part 3 we will cover ISO 45001 Clauses 7 and 8. We invite you to subscribe and share this video with your colleagues and friends. Your success is our priority. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone.